Hello everyone, I am Michelle Gamit. Together with my group mates, I present to you the power of observation. The content of our report are the following. First, the definition of observation. Second, teaching and learning through observation. Third, the development of facts from observation. Fourth, the development of concepts from observational facts. And the fifth is indirect observations. I hope you will learn from our presentation today. Thank you. Definition of observation. So, observation is the action or process of observing something or someone carefully or in order to gain information. For example, my away. Before tayo makialam or before tayo maging involved don, mag-observe muna tayo before we're judging because baka mas makalala pa. So, observation is not only using your eyes but also it involves all, all of our senses. So, sa pag-observe, hindi lang mata ang ginagamit natin. Lahat pala ng mga senses natin ay pwede sa pag-observe tulad ng pag nakikinig lang tayo. Di ba? Pag nakikinig tayo, nakaka-observe din tayo something or may nakukuha na din tayo ng mga information. Technically, according to Maria Webster, observation is defined as an act of recognizing and noting a fact or occurrence often involving measurement and instrument. For example, may tanong tayo. Bago tayo magtanong, mag-observe muna tayo kasi minsan, by observing, nakukuha na natin yung sagot. Tulad ng subject sa math, di ba mga problem solving doon? Tapos may mga example. So, pag tingnan natin yung example, na kukuha na natin, nalalaman na natin kung yung sagot. So, instead na magtanong na magtanong, mag-observe muna tayo. Kasi minsan, sa pag-observe, nakukuha na natin yung sagot. So, observation is essential in science. Observation can also involve the perception and recording of data via the use of scientific measurement or instrument. And also, scientists use observation to collect and record data which enables them to develop and test hypotheses and theories. So, sa science naman na subject, yung science kasi more an experiment. Dahil sa experiment, doon natin makukuha yung sagot. Nag-observe tayo, tapos doon makukuha na natin yung sagot by using the observation. Scientists observe in many ways like using their own senses or with tools such as magnifying glasses, satellites, and many more. So, yung mga scientists, marami yung mga paraan para maka-observe para sa mga experiment, marami silang ginagamit doon. Basic knowledge is learned through sense observation. Every human being uses observation consciously or unconsciously on a daily basis to make decision, according yun kay Bronowski. So, bago tayo makapag-decision, nag-observe muna natin or in-imagine muna natin yung kung ano ang magiging result para wala na magiging other problem pa. So, observation is really must be first. Gawin muna yung observation talaga yung una natin gawin. And scientists are actively and consciously engaged in using observation through formal methodology. So, ito yung talaga din yung ginagamit ng mga scientists para makakuha ng mga sagot. Observation lang talaga yung ginagamit nila para, ayun, makakuha na sila ng sagot or ma masolve na yung problem nila. Teaching and learning through observation. Teaching through observation. A teaching observation is an act of watching a teacher's performance in their classroom or learning environment. Teaching observations are a quantitative way of recording and measuring teacher behavior and mastery by systematically watching and recording them in action. So, uh, teaching through observation, in this part, the observer must learn from the teacher's performance through watching them thoroughly. Learning through observation Observational learning describes the process of learning through watching others, retaining the information, and then later replicating the behavior that were observed. A tremendous amount of learning happens through this process of watching and imitating others. 
So, learning through observation, uh, the observer will imitate the model's behavior if the model possesses characteristics uh, such as talent, uh, intelligence, um, power, good looks, popu or popularity that the observer finds attractive or desirable. So, there are four processes of learning through observation. First, the attention. Second, the retention. Third, the production. And lastly, the motivation. So, attention. Attention, this process is influenced by characteristics of the model such as how much one likes or identifies with the model and by characteristics of the observer. So, attention, in this process, the observer must pay attention in what on what is happening around them. Second, the retention. This process depends on the observer's ability to code or structure the information in an easily remembered form or to mentally or physically rehearse the model's action. So in this process, the observer must observe and also remember if what is the model doing. Third is the production. Observers must be physically and intellectually capable of producing the act. In many cases, the observer possesses the necessary responses. So in this process, though, the observer must be ready and capable of doing the act to avoid any harm. Lastly is the motivation. In general, observers will perform the act if they have some motivation, motivation or, re or reason to do so. The presence of re reinforcement of or punishment either to the model or directly to the observer becomes most important in this process. So in motivation, in this process, the observer will perform the act. So in general, both the attention and retention are for learning the model's behavior, and the production and the motivation are the ones that control the performance. Uh, development facts from observation. Uh, why observation is important to the scientists? Uh, usually, they attempt to find answers for the questions by looking the pattern in nature, numbers, and controlled experiments. Uh, these patterns are detected and data collected through the uses of senses, uh, which we call the sense data. Uh, patterns are interpretation of the observers of the collected data.
the development of concepts from observation and facts. A new view of education is taking shape that reflects science as the understanding relationships between systems and their parts. The emphasis is on process rather than products and true processes, relationships among facts or products become apparent and meaningful. The contemporary view of science is based on understanding patterns and relationships among organized ideas, which are called concepts. The development concept from observational facts daw is mas nag-focus siya sa process which means kung paano siya ginawa o kung anong pinagdaanan ng isang bagay para maging isang produkto. Kasi mas maintindihan kung i-observe ang process rather than the product and para malaman din kung paano siya naging ganto ganyan. That's why meron nag-develop ang concept para merong eksplenasyon kung paano ang proseso ng isang product or fact. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Benson Napiasa Estabilio and I am going to report what is indirect observation. What is indirect observation? Indirect observation is when you measure one thing as a means to determine the value of something else. Sometimes we call this surrogate measurements and different disciplines have different names. The other type of observation is direct observation. Direct observation is a collection of information using your senses. By observing, you can document activities, behavior, and physical aspects of the situation without having to depend on people's willingness or ability to respond accurately to questions. This is the example of those observation. Direct observation. Observe customer in a store and count how many bags of candy they purchase. Indirect observation. Look through the trash cans on garbage day to see how many empty candy bags are in trash bin. So that's all for my report guys. Thank you.